it's Jean B. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited about our next guest. Sex and the City Fever is upon us, and the fashion is just as much of a star as any of our favorite Fab Four. The lady behind that fashion is Patricia Fields, and she's with us today. Good morning, Patricia. How are you? Very well, very well. <laughs> I bet you are. You must be so excited getting to go through this one more time, and obviously, it is going to be a massive, massive. success. I saw the, yeah, last night was um, the premiere, and uh, I, I just feel the I feel the earthquake. It's coming. Yeah. The ground is trembling. The ground is trembling, and we're all trembling in our stilettos and our Manolos and all the spectacular attire we can don for the grand occasion, right? Everybody is so excited to see this movie. I'm no exception. I am just delighted for you and, and your cast and your crew and, and how successful it's been for you. What a major influence you've had on style and lifestyle and culture. It's just, oh, it is so outstanding to see it. I'm so Thank happy you, for you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. But who knew, right? Who knew? But you know what? You know. Follow your bliss, right? That's I, I'm right. I'll be uh, preaching to the converted. So yes. there you go. That's right. Bye. So, well, you know what? I have to get right to it because there's obviously loads of stuff we can talk about, but let's talk about the movie. What, what can we expect to see in this film when it comes to wardrobe? I mean, that's the big question. Are there any significant differences from the original movie, for example? Well, no, you know, well, you know I, what I'd like to say is I'd like to talk about my inspiration, and that'll, okay. then that'll help to make everyone understand what they'll see. I mean, the script is the first thing, and I read it, and I became inspired. And what inspired me in the script was the ma the big portion of this movie, not the whole, but a big, big portion, is revolves around a, a, a luxurious fantasy trip that is gifted to the girls from a super rich chic in the Middle East 10 star private plane everybody with their own limo and butler and palace and you know these girls they got excited and i got excited with them and it was like what am i gonna wear <laughs> that was you know my whole inspiration so they got all their clothes together based on their imagination of what they were going to be encountering and uh, of course, picked up a few pieces while they were there, and it was all about that. It was just oh. about their imagination of where, what they were gonna, where they were gonna find themselves. Excellent. So well, it would be like, you know, New York or Hollywood glamour, you know, our style meets Aladdin on the flying carpet ride. Okay, that's it. Perfect analogy. I mean, that's a great visual. So what are some of the, the trends that you think are going to come out of this movie? What, what are your predictions? Everybody will wear burqas. No. Um, <laughs> um, well, that's a loaded statement. Yeah, no, 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 never. Uh, I'm just being funny now. Yes, everybody will wear turbans. No. Oh, sure. Um, well, one thing that was really, that I, you know, really loved in the movie, and I was very you know, uh, instrumental in making happen was my use of the Halston clothing. And my reason for that was um, I am t I got really tired of all of these crazy shapes that have been coming at us for the past five, seven years. You know, big shoulders, balloon right. bottom, all these crazy shapes. And I'm like, I just want to be simple and chic and different. Okay. You know, you could be different by being simple when everybody's complicated. Absolutely. So that was a very big motivation for me, and I utilized it a lot on Carrie, who loves, I mean, Sarah Jessica loves Holston as well, and she totally got it. Okay. And that's always nice when you're working with, you know, people that they get it. Right. And they love it, and they're interested in it. And, you know, these women are the women that I work with on Sex in the City. Absolutely. And so I would say that's going to be a very big statement of the movie, other than get on your magic carpet and fly, <laughs> baby. 
<laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Patricia. And I will be looking uh, for this great Sky Vodka bottle that you've designed as well. I have it here. Such an honor. It is. I love it. I love designing bottles and cars and anything I can get my hands on. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. And I also love the vodka, by the way. I drink it. It's my style. Light. <laughs> it's true. It's not a commercial. It's just the truth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Patricia. And, and congratulations you. again. You absolutely all deserve it. I, I look forward to talking to you soon and, of course, seeing the movie. Goodbye, darling. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, I want to hear from you. <laughs> After you see the movie, send me some of your favorite fashion takeaways. And if you want, include some pictures. You can reach me at info at genebee.com. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for spending part of your stylish day with me. I'm Jean B, and I'll see you next time.